Hey guys, what's going on? It's me back with another video. So in my last stream, someone came up and told me, it's like, ooh, how do those inventory buttons in your inventory work? And I was like, oh, it's just with NEU. I try to give a very brief explanation. Turns out you can't really give a brief explanation. So they asked me, it's like, you should make a tutorial about it. And then I was like, oh, so many people already did that. And I checked and last time it's been updated, it was like a year ago or something on the wiki. I have no idea. I could barely find anything on it. So now I'm here to help you random person probably with how to get these to work. So let's get into it. All right, so what I'm referring to when I say inventory buttons or any you inventory buttons, I'm referring to these buttons in the bottom or the side of your inventory or even in elements like this little area or inside your character viewing thing. I'm not actually sure what that's called, but if you've just downloaded not enough updates, then you can see there is a little search bar down here, which you can use for separate reasons. Like say I wanted to see Hyperions. I just searched up Hyperion and there you go. So if you have that, down there, then if you right beside it by default, there is a gear option. If you click the gear option, then it brings you to the NEU settings or how to edit the NEU settings of the mod. There's quite a few things here, so I'm not going to go over all of it. But if you don't have that down there, because you may have turned it off in the past, you can just write slash NEU and it opens the same menu. So to get to your inventory buttons, you can either click this category, which leads you to inventory buttons, or you can, if you're having a hard time finding it, inventory buttons, and it still shows it. So we're just gonna go and you can edit these however you want. So if you have a button click type mouse down, so that means whenever you click, then it will do the button, or you can have it mouse up. So whenever you let go of the click, so that might help if you accidentally click on something like I've been, I have it as mouse down, but I've been in time where I'm in dungeons and may mean to open up my storage for something, but I've accidentally warped to the dungeon hub, can't get work back. So, so if you have it to mouse up, so then rather than having to left click on it, which just opens it, if you left clicked on it and then dragged away, then it wouldn't open it. But I just like having it click down. That's up to personal preference though. So we're going to go into the open button editor and you can see all of the places you can put buttons so you can even put buttons inside of your crafting menu if you really want to considering you're not usually using the crafting menu but everywhere there's a plus here you can put a button and to edit where these buttons are so everywhere there's a plus there's not actually a button there just saying where you can put buttons so say i wanted to access the enchanting table so if you have a booster cookie, you can ex access the enchantment table by writing slash ET, and that gives you the enchantment table. So if, uh, so if I went into NEU, oops, NEU, open button editor, I can go over here, write sl the command is slash ET, and you can, uh, there's quite a few options to choose from here. You can also choose, select the defaults or the background type. So I'm, I just want a basic enchantment table. There you go, enchantment table. And it changes to enchantment table. Then if you want, uh, so in my, so right now you can see that this will just work because it's an enchantment table. If you hover above it, you can see what the commands are. Like this is an anvil. This is the bazaar or the auction house if they did work right now. But you can click that, it would work. If you wanted to customize how they look, what you can do is I'm going to go into edit this. You can make it, I have all of my backgrounds very, uh, I have them all light because this pack is generally dark, especially with the enchantment table and anvil. So if you wanted to, you can set it to dark mode where it's dark. So it, some people like that. I don't know many people use that. It's not bad. I just have, I just stick with these. You can have this no background, which I you know honestly it looks quite nice but then it's quite difficult to find the hitboxes. You can have a little border if you want to counteract that. Between both of the, uh, between the full white one with this pack and this, I would, I would honestly prefer this. I'm just too used to these to swap. Or you can just have a basic a background. So if we're stick, so if we do this, then you can see it just changes it. And whenever you click it, it will open the enchantment table. For those of you who are going to ask why my enchantment table looks like this and not an enchantment table, this is because uh, 
I have the uh, NEU enchantment table on. So if I turned it off, yeah, it's a regular enchantment table. If uh, any of you are curious about how to start that, since it's not as long. So you can go into the enchantment table, GUI, and just turn that on. And now it's here. So that's how you would access these custom NEU buttons. You can set them all up manually. Like this goes to the lobby. This is my wardrobe. This is my pets. This does not bypass cooldowns, by the way. So if you are in combat and you open the wardrobe, it will not let you open the wardrobe until you're out of combat. Same with pets, except pets can open anywhere in combat. So this helps quite a bit if you do want to access your pets. Some of you have, may have seen that people have a set of buttons just above their toolbar. And to get those, you can have show quick you just search up toolbar and you pro show quick commands in the NEU toolbar so this also has all these edit toolbar positions so you can change where your inventory and stuff is and what you do is you can just if you want them all to be set up by default and you don't want any custom ones you can show, show quick commands and all of them are down here so i have them set up like the exact same way just because of I liked how these were set up and I used to use these before, but I just moved them close to my inventory since I started needing custom ones. But if you do not need custom ones or do not want custom ones and you like the look of this, then this it honestly works quite well and it also is much faster than the NEU buttons just because of them not being custom and them just being inside the mod. But that is how you use the custom GUI buttons in Not Enough Updates, the mod for Hypixel Skyblock and the, the inventory buttons above the GUI. If you want a link to install Not Enough Updates, I have linked the Discord invite for Not Enough Updates in the description down below, as if you're new to getting mods, it's a good rule of thumb to not get mods from unre unreliable sources or random internet people just because they have a high chance of taking your information since you can do that in mods. So only take it from trusted sources and I've put the link down in the description below for all of you to check out if you need the mod. But that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Consider liking, commenting, and subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next one.